Hey, good morning. My name is Nicholas Favaloro, and I am coming to you from Vegas, um, Las Vegas. And I have uh, my word, my, my verse of the day, my chapter of the day for you from the Bible. It's one of my favorite ones. Um, I learned it when I was at Bible Baptist Church of Las Vegas. They're a nice, good, small Baptist church. Um, also, check out uh, PCLV. It's Praise Chapel, Las Vegas. They're non-denominational. Um, and there is probably a couple others, but I really want to get into Proverbs 3. Okay. Now, my son, forget not my law. But let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel, and narrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the firstfruits of all thine increase. So shall they, thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father the son in whom he delighteth. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, the gain thereof, than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness. And all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is one that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth, by understanding has he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. Then shall thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. Say not unto thy neighbor, Go, and come again, and tomorrow I will give, when thou hast it by thee. Despise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwelleth securely by thee, by thee. Strive not with a man without cause, if he have done thee no harm. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. For the froward is an abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is the house of the wicked, but he blesses the habitation of the just. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. Amen. Now, that's one of my favorite, favorite chapters in the Bible for many different reasons. And I'm going to go back over them. And illustrate why. Let me give you. Let me let me tell you. Okay. Just a second. Said he's he's talking to, like he's talking to his son. So he's giving advice to somebody, and he's calling him son because it's instructional. It's important that they know that it's from a father like care, love. That that's how much he cared. These words are important. My son, forget not my law. But let thine heart keep my commandments. See, see, see what that said. See, Jesus would talk just like Father would talk. Jesus would talk like 
you know, exactly the same way. For example, forget not the law, right? Don't forget the law, but make sure your heart, let thine heart keep your kids' commandments. Let your heart, because God knows your heart. And, and that will keep you. That and, and I mean, I don't have to say much more because I can't take nothing or add anything to the Bible that's not the truth already. But for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Who does not want extra life? Like, just keep going being like this forever. Um, long life, healthy, length of days. Your days are long and you get to enjoy your day. It's long life, it's beautiful life, you live a full life, and peace, peace within, like peace, you know, because the wisdom and the knowledge and understanding, that's what, and it gets into this, let not mercy and truth forsake thee, bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart, and it mentions this as in, he's trying to get you to write it on your heart, put it on your neck, put it on you, you know, make, make that something that's in you, that you feel strongly about. It mercy and truth, don't let it just forsake you. Don't let it just go away, not be around. Put mercy and truth for in front of you. Put that in your life. Put that on you. Write that upon your heart. You know, etch it in there. Engrave it into you, into your being. Um, so, so you shall find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. See. So mercy and truth and what favor does is favor is look they talk I'm talking about favor because it's gonna it comes up later on but favor is basically overall the God's chose choosing you know to give you a lot of you know breaks you know what I'm saying find favor and good understand you know because the people are gonna want to look at you they're gonna check you they're gonna fact check you they're gonna background check you they're gonna see how good you are, how clean you are, all that extra stuff, all the things that I'm not going to want to get into right now. But favor comes from God and man in both ways. It's how you conduct yourself, how you carry yourself, what you put out in the world. It's also karma. It's called also the law of attraction, some other people's belief systems or ways of talking. Uh, for this, we're gonna. I'm just going to keep it back to the word. So um, you will do things to, you know, Please God and man. Okay. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And and lean not unto thine own understanding. See? So with that, my own understanding is obliterated. Um, because when we start thinking beyond our own understanding, we start becoming more understanding. See? It's a thing. It's like suffering. You got to go through it to get to it. Um, in all thine ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path so like I said back to the understanding don't look at God first I mean look to the kingdom he said seek the kingdom first but the kingdom is what God is love and righteousness if you do right usually I mean it should end up in a good result this world is not I mean this world is what it is it's meant to be that way um, so we, of course, know not everything is going to happen exactly like that. Um, but when you acknowledge God and he directs your path, life should be less confusing because you're more sure. And you have a good faith. It only takes this much faith to move mountains. It's tinier. That can't even, we can't even see it. Um, be not wise in mine own eyes thine own eyes fear the lord and depart from evil so if i ever say i'm wise or if i know what i'm talking sometimes i might say i know what i'm talking about or i think i know what i'm talking about but i don't always know what i'm talking about i'm just gonna say it flat out i don't but i try and uh not i and it, it, we're not supposed to call ourselves wise basically that's what it's saying we have to let our reputation precede us and people um, put that on us, like being acknowledged accolades and so forth and so forth. Um, it, it, and depart from evil, turn away from evil. That's basically choosing to go, just go left. Don't go and take that joy ride and, and don't do that drive by. 
you know, don't take that last shot. You might get too messed up. You never know. You might not make it home. Okay? Depart from evil. You don't don't do that with that slut. She's married. She She has kids and they have a family, you know. I don't know. There I don't know. There maybe I don't know. You might there, that might be bent, but see evil is evil. Wrong is wrong. I'm not gonna sit there and twist it around, but we know what we do wrong. Or maybe the part from evil is in don't hang around and don't put yourself around evil shit. Okay? He in hearing evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. I apologize for cursing. Um It will be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Your healthier navel is like right here in your gut, basically. And your bones, you know, narrow, marrow is in, in your bones. You know, the blood, bone air, mobile, bone marrow. Uh, that's like, that's deep, dude. It'll be health to you. It'll be literally health, to your full full health, right? A, but uh, in, in your, in, in honor, the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase. That means your substance is, again, how you carry yourself. Your countenance, um, your integrity, uh, which do when no one is around, um, and your first fruits. So everything that you get for your first, like Rockefeller would give ten percent. Everything that you earn or in anything that you become improved in, physically, talent wise, um, life standards wise, economically, spiritually, anything, knowledge wise. Give it to God and give him the glory, honor God, and do something good with it. Um, with and righteous. Okay. And uh so your barns will be filled with plenty, and your presses will burst out with new life. It just means the more the blessings will just add up, the more you just get blessings, it say they say it's better to give than receive because it's a giving. It's like a pay it forward thing. It will spread around. The more the more the merrier. Everybody has something to give back to each other. That's how the church is supposed to be. But your life will be personally a representation of that because we are the body. We are a temple. Um, that could be another uh, video. But um, you'll be bursting out with new wine. You'll have so much. You'll be dripping in the sauce. You'll be dripping in it. You'll be glowing. That's the Christian glow that people are like. Why are you so fucking awesome? Why are you so beautiful? Why are you glowing so much? Why are you so pure? You don't even need, you don't even try. Anyways, um, and your my son despise not the chastening of the Lord or be weary of correction. So if someone wants to correct me on anything in this video, please do. If it's coming from God, I will listen to you or him, God. I'll listen to our God, okay? Uh, Father God, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, for you know, and not be wary of this correction because I'm sorry I won't. Dang, I'm sorry you said that. My sister got mad because I posted something about you know something inappropriate. She was posting on Facebook, <laughs> but she was right for doing it. Can't be mad. Can't be weary of it. I was kind of a little bit weary, being honest. Um, for whom the Lord loveth, He correcteth, and even as a father, the son in whom He delighted. So if God's correcting me, that means like He's my dad. Like I respect men. Uh, I have I, I had only a few of them. I didn't know my dad, personal dad. Anyways, that's a long story short. But I respect men that are good examples of being a man and. If you correct somebody, we know we do it out of love and care, out of out of wanting us to be better people or better young men or kids or people. Yeah, people. Anyway, um, happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. So if you understand all these things are for the good of you, for the better, and or these things had to happen or, or you just have peace and understanding, you know, you know more than you did the day before, so that type of Thing. You know, I wish I knew then what I know now. Um, and you're happy in it because you, I, I got it. I got it now. Ding, ding. Um, I'm good. I got it. Finally got it. Uh, and the man that gets understanding because he's happy because you got it. You understood. Got it. I got it. 
Now I know. Shit. Thank you. I, I, it was right there the whole time. Anyways, for the merchandise of it, it's better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof than fine gold. It's better than riches and honor and glory. I mean, it's rich. It's, it's more important than gold and, and silver and rubies. And it's, it's just the gain of it is just so much more because you, you it's like you always have the upper hand. But you don't need to use it. It's like karate. Okay. Anyways, it's like karate. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared to her. And what is being talked about is wisdom. Wisdom is like better than diamonds, platinum, gold, silver, myrrh, everything. Wisdom and knowledge is so much more. You could make so much riches off of that. Solomon was a good example, but there's others in history. And even recently, people are misusing their gifts or not misusing their gifts. I don't know. Artists entertainers, so forth and so forth. You could call me out on that too if you want. Anyways, length of days is in her right hand and her left hand riches and honor. See, she is more precious than rubies and all the things thou canst desire not to be compared to her because it's like the experience is better. The knowledge and the understanding of life is better than the the things that are in it the materials to be in the world not be of the world her length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor so you're going to get the riches and honor it's like it comes with it that saying you know everything comes along with it when you get the when you get the fame or when you go become like that everything comes along with it or when you get the power or when you get the position Everything's going to come. When you work, get to that point, when you work to get to that point, you worked hard to get to that point, you worked hard to get to that point, you worked. Um, you broke your back, bent your back, plowed, so to see, did your thing. Um, her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. So you have a very good path. I'm going to use Illustrate, I'm going to use Snoop Dogg as a way. Be peaceful, you just... Do your thing and you love and you make music and you do your thing, you be who you are, you chill. You're gonna find a way and it's gonna pe people are gonna gravitate towards you, especially if you really put in the effort too. He really was a worker. He's not just you know what I'm saying Snoop Dogg is is entertaining, he does his thing, he's professional at the same time. But he's also chill, I guess his personality is chill enough. I don't know him personally. But you can get in where you fit in. A lot of other people have done a similar thing, David, with other kings and stuff like that when he's fleeing from Saul. Uh, uh, peace is going to follow you. People are going to want peace. But there's war. He had a lot of war in his life. That might have been the greatest example. But if you're, if you're seeking wisdom, you'll find a place of refuge, usually within at least the sanctity of your mind. Um, and everything will follow. Their peace is a peaceful path like Gandhi. Everything peaceful. Okay. Uh, she is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is everyone that retaineth her. Because it's like everyone, and then once you get the knowledge, and once you get the understanding and wisdom, you're like. And everybody's like, why are you so happy? I'm like, I can tell you, but I can't explain it. It's more than words. I'm just grateful. This is joy deep down in my soul. Joy, joy. Deep down in my soul. Uh, she is a tree of life and all that, you know, that lay a hold upon her. And happy is everyone that retaineth her. The Lord, by wisdom, hath found an earth, and by understanding hath he established the heavens. Put to existence. If you couldn't comprehend it probably wouldn't have been able to fathom it you probably wouldn't have been able to put it out there into existence we are made after the image of the creator of the creator think about it um we all can do it and jesus tried to send this message that will be another um this will be another video i'm gonna probably keep doing a couple things like this later on but um By his knowledge, the depths and the 
are broken up and the clouds drop down the dew. It's like a poem, you know, poet, an artist painting a picture, creating and putting into light, making something like this. Um, let not them depart from thy eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. See, it said it like backwards, like Spanish. It'd be like this, this, and said, I love, I love you. And said, you, I love, you know, something like that. It says, let them depart from, let not them depart from thine eyes. And then, and then it explains wisdom, sound wisdom, and discretion. So discretion is withholding something. Discretion, keeping it sound in your mind. Sound discretion, knowing it was being reserved and knowing when to keep to you, things inside and knowing when to put stuff. Wisdom and discretion and putting out wisdom and not just spewing it out and then having people not knowing what, what they're doing and going here and there and learning only a little bit and then getting it confused and thinking that that was the complete doctrine. <laughs> Um, there'll be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. So constantly it will continue to keep you um, just like sustaining me. His grace sustains me. Um, when thou liest in, in, in thou shalt not thou so then thou walk in thy way safely. You'll walk safely and your foot will not stumble. You won't slip and stumble. If you do, you won't. It won't be major trip. Uh, so don't trip. Anyways, when when you lie down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down. And thy sleep shall be sweet. So you won't have no worries. Most people do, even though we should worry. We worry. We're we're human. But when you lie down. Yeah, like that. Anyways, um, <laughs> and be not afraid of sudden fear, neither the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. So sudden fear is like being scared out of nowhere, like getting frightened when someone jumps out and ah, ah, like that. Don't be afraid of it. It happens. Being scared a little bit, scared. You're supposed to be scared. It's instinctual. One no, not to. Touch the stove and not, you know, burn out. It's hot. No, don't do that again. No, 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 no. It's no, no, no. Sin is a no. That's another discussion. Anyways, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> but don't be afraid of sudden fear. Don't be scared to, to jump into something and be scared for a little bit. It's good for you. Um, neither the desolation of the wicked. So if the wicked get... Get the, uh, they get smashed with, wiped out. Some bad people get hurt. Why you be like, damn, and that's happening. I don't know what that's exactly about, but don't worry about it. Um, wicked is it's supposed to happen. When it cometh, it's come and come. For the Lord shall be thy confidence and keep thy foot from being taken. So you won't get caught up that's basically a nutshell. You won't get caught up, um, and you'll be caught. You'll be good. You'll be sure that you'll make it through. This too shall pass. It's for you. Um, withhold not good from them to whom it is due when it is in the power to do it. So when you're able to do good, and they deserve it, give it, give it up, give it away, give it away, give it away. Defies. Not evil against thy neighbors, seeing that they dwell securely by thee, by you. So if they're fine by you, and they're not doing you no wrong, don't try to do anything to them. What they, what they ain't harm you. What they do to you? Why are you calling the cops and they trying to make money for their daughters? I'm just kidding. That's a that's a biggie line. I yeah, I just did that. I just threw a biggie line and talking about Proverbs three. Okay, get over it. God bless you. Love you. Okay, anyways. Drive not with a man without cause. 
if he have done thee no harm. So don't, they're not harm you. Don't strife with them. Don't go through it with them. Don't do anything. Just be like whatever. Put it to the side. Envy not, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Do not take upon the ways of the oppressor. The oppressor does this to us and we gonna become just like them because, because they did it. You gonna jump off a bridge and somebody did it too? Have you heard that before? Don't hurt yourself. Work yourself. Be ch Choose to be higher than that. I mean, you could be. I mean, somebody can be. We not all perfect. I probably done it too. I probably did it a bunch of times. Probably did it recently. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry, God. And I hope that we don't do it again. But we shouldn't be taking it on the ways of the oppressor. It's bad. Because they did it. And we don't do it. No. That's not right. It's not righteous. Anyways. For the forward is an abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. So if you're going back and forth, you always are, you're never, you're always stuck and you don't know where you stand. You're there, here, you're there, you're not here, you're there, you're nowhere, you're lukewarm. It's an abomination. I mean, you could be forward even in being, living a church lifestyle. Uh, I don't know exactly how, and I probably could bring it up, but that'd be bomb. That'd be mo that'd be messed up to scorn, to sit in the seat of the scorner. I can't do that either, for that is written. But uh, I I'm not I've done it but I've done it before. So again, sorry God. Anyways, back to the word. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but He blesseth the habitation of the just. So overall, God knows your heart. If you're just, if you're righteous, if you're just. He'll know, and he'll bless you. Really, so you don't have to be any particular way. You don't have to change your life completely. Your life will change. It's gonna happen. It's supposed to happen. The first, the fruits, the fruits. Surely he scorned at the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. So, stay humble. Be humble. Sit down. <laughs> Be humble. Sit down. No. <laughs> God bless it. Right? The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. So you're promoting shame because you're, oh, I'm sh man, darn it. Look, I did this, man, last night. You know, man. Oh, man, I can't believe I did that. You know, that's promotion of fool. That's fool's promotion. Promotion. I don't doubt. I'm not on dig it like that. The wise will inherit glory. And shame will be the promotion of fools. So shame will follow fools. Like their reputation, reputation that precedes them is shame. Like the walk of shame. Get a walk, take the walk of shame. Call it campuses, many different walks. Boop, boop, ba -doo, boop, ba -doo. Anyways, the, the wise will inherit glory and the shame will be the promotion of the fools because they'll be like, I've been full a bunch of times. Uh, but hopefully, God God knows me. Hopefully, God knows me. Um, stay true. Remember, put it upon you. Hold on to it. Never let go. Don't forget. Oh, yeah. And if you're a mentor or anybody in a mentor position, just remember. Strong advice. From a person who cares or genuine or even God's using you as a vessel, it is a precious gem to a young person's life, especially catch them at a young age, whenever, as soon as you can get them, uh, make sure you get that information to them, that wisdom, that advice, uh, biblical knowledge, strictly, you know, the word, um, only and coming from God specifically and it will stay with them and it, it shall help them grow and to, as they grow along it will, it will never leave them um, it stayed close to my heart I know a brother Matthew from Bible Baptist Church of Las Vegas why I mentioned him earlier he's the one that showed me this first first and really had me